In this video, we're going to use tabular integration to do an integral. So when you're doing tabular, you have to pick one piece to differentiate, and that piece should eventually be zero, and then one piece to integrate. Well, if you look at x squared, if you just keep differentiating that, eventually it's going to be zero. So x squared, that's what we're going to differentiate. And then this piece here, we're going to integrate over and over again. So x minus 2 to the 3 halves. All right, so if you differentiate x squared once, you get 2x. If you do it again, you get 2. And if you do it again, you get 0. Now, when you're integrating this, you're supposed to make a u substitution. You're supposed to let u be equal x, x minus 2, but then du is dx. So all we're going to do is use the power rule over and over again. So if we add 1 to 3 halves, we're really adding 2 halves. So we get 5 halves. So this is really x minus 2 to the 5 halves. And we're dividing by 5 halves, so we multiply by 2 fifths. Okay, then we do it again. So we get x minus 2. And again, we're adding 1, so we're adding 2 halves. 2 halves plus 5 halves is 7 halves. And let me come to the side here. We're dividing by 7 halves, so we're multiplying by 2 sevenths. So we've got 2 sevenths times 2 fifths. So that's 4 over 35, right? 2 times 2 is 4. 7 times 5 is 35. So this is 4 over 35. Okay, then we have to do it again. So we add 2 halves. So we're going to get 9 halves this time. So x minus 2 to the 9 halves. And then dividing by 9 halves is the same as multiplying by 2 ninths. So we're doing 2 ninths, this is a mess, times 4 over 35. Uh-oh. And this is equal to 8. And let's see, 9 times 35, and put it on my calculator, just to save time, is 315. Okay, so we get 8 over 315. Wow, that was tougher than expected. So now we put plus and minus signs. We always start with the plus. So plus, minus, plus, minus. Then we draw these cool arrows. Boom. And then the final step is to write the answer down. So the answer, in this case, is going to be, let's see, we're going to get 2 fifths x squared, and then x minus 2 to the 5 halves. So that takes care of the first arrow. The next one's going to be a minus, and we have a 2. So 2 times 8 is, 2 times 4 is 8. So we get minus 8 over 35, and we still have the x, and then we have x minus 2 to the 7 halves. And finally, we are at the last arrow. So we get 2 times 8 is 16. So 16 over 315. And then we have x minus 2 to the 9 halves. And then we have the plus c at the end. And that's how you use tabular integration. So um, I hope this video made sense. It's very, very easy uh, to mess up here. When you're going from here to here, you have to add the 2 halves. So you get 7 halves. And you're dividing by 7 halves. So when you divide by 7 halves, again, you're really multiplying by 2 sevenths. So you go to the side, you take your 2 fifths, and you just grind it out. Four 2 times 2 is 4, 7 times 5 is 35. We did the same thing here, right? We ended up getting 9 halves when we added 1 to this. We divided by 9 halves, so we really multiplied by 2 ninths. So we took 2 ninths right here, and then we multiplied it by this. So we did 2 times 4 is 8, and 9 times 35 was 315. So... Um, I hope that video made sense.